Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another build guide. In this video, we are going to take a user requested price range and try to make a build guide out of it. What we have is a $600 PC build with a monitor included, so without further ado, let's get right into it. As always, prices are subject to change, so check the link down below for updated pricing. First up, the CPU. I chose the Intel Core i3-6100, a dual-core processor with hyper-threading coming in at a price tag of $104 US. Now, while the CPU may be a dual-core, it does pack a punch today in modern gaming, beating out CPUs like the FX6300 at the same price tag. It also gets you on the Intel platform with the ability to upgrade to higher-end i5 or i7 CPUs without needing to get a motherboard upgrade. The CPU will do awesome for this build. As for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte H100M Micro ATX motherboard at a price tag of $54. Nothing special, it's a motherboard that supports our CPU and can hold all of the components. It is a Micro ATX board so that does give us different case options, but overall the board is solid and from a brand like Gigabyte, making it a solid choice for this build. As for RAM, I went with one 8GB DIMM of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM for $50. Now RAM prices have been on the rise recently, which isn't that uncommon. However, due to this motherboard having only two RAM slots, we had to opt for a single 8GB stick to be able to add more RAM later, with the increasing demand in game slowly growing to more than 8GB. But overall, this RAM will do the job for this build. Now for the storage, I went with a 1TB hard drive from Western Digital, the WD Blue. Nothing special, it's a basic 1TB hard drive for $48. It will store all your games and the OS, even though I would have liked to opt for an SSD in this build, being that we added a monitor to the build, it really does make us have to sacrifice in certain areas, and in this case, we did sacrifice in the storage department. As for the graphics card, I went with the MSI Radeon RX 470. This is the 4GB variant with the armor cooler. The RX 470 is perfect for 1080p gaming and at a price range of only $170. You will be able to max out most titles at 1080p which is nice because that monitor that I included is well 1080p. As for the case, I went with a Cooler Master N200, a mini tower micro ATX case at a price tag of $45. This case is solid for the price and will fit all our components nicely while not having to have a massive footprint. Cases are a personal preference and can be swapped for anything you really want, but I do recommend this one for the build, especially for the price tag of only $45 and the incredible build quality by Cooler Master. As for the power supply, I went with the EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified ATX power supply for $30. For the price, you are getting a pretty decent unit. 430 watts should be enough for this system, but if you can afford with a few more bucks to get a 500 watt power supply, I would definitely recommend you do so, but I have tested this unit before and it is very solid for the price and I would recommend it for this build if you have no other option at all but to spend only $600 overall. Now for the monitor, I went with the Asus VN238H-P 23.8 inch monitor. While that's a mouthful, this monitor really isn't anything special. It's a 1080p monitor with a $20 mail-in rebate that gets you right at the price tag of $100. The response time is well average at 5 milliseconds, but it does come with an IPS panel which is pretty solid compared to most TN panels that are out there on cheaper monitors at this price range. So expect a pretty decent monitor for the price. So overall, including the monitor, this build comes out to be a price tag of $604 with rebates. Now without rebates, the price is $619, which isn't far off from the $600 price goal. So regardless, this build in my mind fits the price very well and should do a great job providing a great gaming experience for you. Well that about wraps things up here, if you like this video leave a like down below and comment what you think. The link to the build will be located in the PC Par Picker link down below in the description as I mentioned. Prices are subject to change so check that before to see updated pricing and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.